A story is no longer fixed by deadlines or distribution schedules. Rather, it is organic, spiraling through multiple forms of media, changing as it goes. The story belongs to no one except for its audience. The fluidity of this approach puts more emphasis on publishing information for all to see. In contrast, traditional news organizations are set up to filter information before they publish it. Editors, reporters collaborate, but the debates have not been open to public scrutiny or involvement. Those of us who are journalists must focus now on the construction of a bridge from the old to the new media in order to preserve the best of what we have, in order to enhance the good that is to come. Some of that good to come is already being created by the newcomers to the world of journalism, contributors to an emerging system of news who are no longer content simply to receive reports produced by others. The International Press Institute's Allison McKenzie points out the challenge of sorting out truth from rumor in the blizzard of social media that followed the 2009 Iranian elections. With, four, with foreign correspondents thrown out of the country, it fell to people on the street to document with cell phone cameras and text updates the stories of the uprising that ensued. In an early example of the sort of collaboration that will be required going forward, journalists in London, the United States and elsewhere stepped in to double check facts and context and basically rewriting some of what was said to be able to provide the best quality journalism. Along the way, journalists and their new partners will need to wrestle with their often conflicting points of view, such as verification, transparency, accountability, and fairness. Collaboration will be key with a whole range of partners, not just the blogosphere. How many of you are members of Facebook? Facebook. Twitter, not as many Twitters. LinkedIn, for those of you who don't think it matters if you have accounts like these, it matters. Because even if you've never tweeted, LinkedIn, Facebook, these decisions about the information you see on the web are being made by the people who do. According to Shirky, for the next few decades, journalism will be made up of overlapping special cases. Many of these models will rely on amateurs as researchers and writers. Many of these models will rely on a sponsorship or grants or endowments instead of revenues. Many of these models will rely on excitable 14-year-olds distributing the results. Many of these models will fail. But in this brave new world, no one experiment is going to replace what we are now losing with the demise of the newspaper and other mainstream media. But over time, the collection of new experiments that do work might give us the journalism we need. Thank you.